it's truly a time to honor and celebrate the countless African Americans who were trailblazers for justice and pioneers for change. I've been thinking and reading and studying a lot about the black pioneers and troublemakers who have made it possible for people like me to be in the Democratic Party. To acknowledge the contribution of the African American people that has been omitted from the history books, from education, and from mainstream American knowledge. And it means the world, not just to black people, but also to other people who just don't know the history because it wasn't taught. Every February, I take time to think on the work and sacrifices of countless generations of folks whose names we'll never know. This is a time to slow down, think about it. What have African Americans done for this country? We are the bedrock of the United States. And so for one month, we slow ourselves down, we look at the contributions, and we think next steps. My sisters in the movement who blazed a trail for us, like Harriet Tubman, Ida B. Wells, Shirley Chisholm, Fannie Lou Hamer, Rosa Parks, Katherine Johnson, and Barbara Jordan. Women like them who voted and fought for a better future for our country every day, leading up to the election of the first woman vice president, Kamala Harris. We must ensure that black women don't just carry Democrats to victory, but lead us. Someone like Fannie Lou Hamer and the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party and the confrontation that they had with the power structure of this party and this country in demanding not just a seat at the table, but the ability to shape the Democratic Party's platform policies and to really participate fully in democratic life. And very often these voices were met with chastisement, with being told that they were a little too loud or a little too early. And I wanna thank everyone who came before me uh, who didn't listen to that advice. We still must do good trouble, as my hero John Lewis demonstrates over and over again. Activism has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. My mentor, the Honorable Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, the first African-American woman elected to Congress and the first African-American woman to run for president. Well, she encouraged me to get up and get involved when I met her for the first time at Mills College, my alma mater, and that was during her run for the presidency. The California Democratic Party is shaped by the heroes and sheroes living black history, past and present. One who I've been thinking about a lot lately is our friend Darren Parker, the past chair of the CDP African American Caucus, or as we mutually called each other, Mr. Chairman. I'll never forget our last conversation. I was out on the campaign trail and he called me from a chemo session. Mr. Chairman, I miss you. And I, in this year, in this February, I recommit myself, my Rosa resolution is in your name. People like Carol Mosley Braun and Shirley Chisholm, they were running for offices at a office at a time when black women weren't running for those seats in great numbers. Current uh, leaders, Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, Congress members Maxine Waters, Karen Bass, Barbara Lee, all of them inspire me. The time that we commit to the work of lifting up the black community and rededicating ourselves as a nation to overcoming white supremacy and the systemic racism that continues to impact African Americans each and every single day. The civil rights movement showed me where I came from. I was both fascinated and terrified by what, what I saw. Well-dressed black people sang, marched, and protested for their rights to be treated equal in response to people being beaten, churches getting bombed, little girls dying, and MLK being assassinated. I learned that black people had to fight and die for the freedoms that I now have. And that's why I continue to fight for black people and for all people. My union had an unlocked door policy in the 70s. However, that door was blocked by someone on the inside with their foot against it. In 2010, that door was blown open when I became the first black president of that local. 
That revitalized my activism. Our current history should revitalize yours. I am the first African-American woman to lead the Democratic Party of Sacramento County, our state capital. As our forever floaters, First Lady Michelle Obama stated, there's power in allowing yourself to be known and heard, in owning your unique story, in using your authentic voice, and there's grace in being willing to know and hear others. To the next steps, we're proactive, even though we have been beaten down in so many ways, under so many circumstances. But as Maya Angelou says, as still I rise. And let's keep the ball rolling. Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month, Democrats.